The Boy Scouts of America makes a promise to all parents enrolling their children in its program. They promise by that enrolling your children in their program, they will be prepared for their future and will be provided with all the necessary skills needed to survive in our evolving world. I know that this statement is not only true, but that I also embody the statement too. I have a complicated history with the BSA, given as I both participated in their program and also worked for them. Like few others, I am an Eagle Scout. I wear and acknowledge all of the responsibilities that come with this title. Scouts has given me more than a shiny badge and a slap on the back. I felt like I actually did something. Instead of finishing a long list of chores, Scouts helped me find myself and shape me into the person that I am today. My name is William Garcia Block. I started scouting in the first grade as a Tiger Cub. I advanced through the ranks year by year, graduating from the Cub Scouts into the Boy Scouts. I attended summer camps, camped for days at a time in the Los Angeles National Forest, went on long backpacking trips, and even rode the sand dunes of Death Valley. Some of my best memories come from scouting. I made friends and heard stories I'll remember forever and have shared with others. Don't get me wrong, I love scouting, but I promise you this isn't me trying to persuade you into joining or sending your children into the program. This is me sharing how scouting has affected my life. When I was 14, I decided to embark on a new adventure. I started working as a counselor in training at a summer camp near Lake Arrowhead named Forest Lawn Scout Reservation. During the three weeks of volunteer work there, I fell in love. I was super eager to sign up as full-time staff for the following summer, so as soon as I got home, I sent in my application for the next year. I had gotten the job, and months of anticipation followed. The following year, working as a wood carving and pottery instructor, I changed as a person. I was able to push out of my shell and become more confident, more outgoing, and happy as ever. I created lasting relationships and gathered enough memories to create a memoir. The drama, the long nights, the sitting on the edge of a cliff and talking for hours. I enjoyed bringing joy to others through my teaching as a camp counselor and through skits at opening and closing campfires. There was more than enough to entrance me into yearning for return to return there for years after. This is exactly what happened. I returned for the next three years, from the ages of 15, 16, 17, and 18. One specific incident, however, uh, really showed me the importance of scouting and how it prepared me to act calm on a very hectic night. This was the opening weekend of camp. I was becoming well acquainted with some of the other staff and had made friendships with some of the staff who had never been there before. On the opening night, the first day after a week of preparation, uh, I was put into a very strange circumstance. One of my coworkers, who had struggled with mental health all of his life, started to have strong suicidal thoughts. He came to me after our opening campfire and started to express these horrible ideas, uh, stating that he wanted to harm himself and that he felt he didn't want to be a burden to anyone anymore. Uh, my first instinct was to grab someone else, have them stay with him while I went to get the attention of the medic and or the ranger who was an EMT. Uh, so this is what I did. I assured he was in a safe space with other people like me who would help comfort him and talk him down from any mental ledge he might be on. He received the help he most desperately needed and was set to a 5150 mental evaluation by the police. This might not seem like that big of a deal or even something that remotely um, seems associated with scouting, but to me this was one of the most important moments in my scouting career. For him to come to me uh, and to no one else, because he trusted me and felt comfortable around me, uh, I knew that I was doing the right thing. Scouting did that for me. It showed me how to properly handle these sorts of situations and how to deal with them appropriately. That staffer is now one of my best friends from summer camp to this day, and he reminds me of that constantly. Through all these years, I matured more than I ever would have anticipated. I climbed the professional ladder from scouting, from an in-training counselor to a regular employee, then team lead, and finally this past year to a director. For a time, I considered making scouting and professional scouting my career. This unfortunately passed, as I considered the real possibilities of that as an option. Yet I do believe that scouting has taught me more and helped me mature into a young adult. This past year, during the pandemic, I was fortunate enough to complete my Eagle project, finishing the final step in becoming an Eagle Scout an achievement only completed by about 6% of all scouts to ever enroll in the program. This is something that has helped, in fact, helped me with many applications and job interviews. I'd say that receiving Eagle Scout is one of my most proud moments. 
Uh, and I wish all those in scouting continue their path to Eagle, for it is truly worth it. Thank you.